let's talk a little bit more about how you'd like to see the science of meteorology improve. Oh, we've got so many issues. For example, I'm 100 years old. When I was a child, when I was a little boy, nobody could tell me at 7 o'clock in the morning exactly when and where it would rain on a summer afternoon. Sure. Here we are in 2025, and guess what? I cannot tell people exactly when and where it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. It is so stinking frustrating. So if you listen to a public weather forecast, what does it say? 40% chance of rain. Partly sunny, hot, and humid with scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. That helps nobody. Mm -hmm. They want to know if it's going to rain at at, at 7 o'clock at the ballpark where their son's got a ball game. Mm -hmm. They want to know if it's going to rain at 3 in the afternoon for this corporate event that's outdoors. And I cannot tell them that. And it's so frustrating. And, of course, they get their app, and this, most apps are model output, and we mm-hmm. models, listen, where's the camera? All models are wrong. Some are useful, okay? If you hear anything I say during this show, if you're a weather dweeb, all models are wrong. Some are useful. We don't have the grid resolution. We don't have the storm scale setting t- for these things to be accurate. And I'm talking the cams. I'm talking the her, the three-kilometer high-resolution rapid refresh. It's no good in the summer. So that's one of our biggest challenges down here. That's an example of how far we have to go. Mm-hmm. There is so much we don't know. But listen, and here's the problem, I think, to me, the basic problem. We're still launching balloons full of hydrogen twice a day. What happens in 12 hours in the atmosphere that we don't know about? A lot. And this yeah. data is what goes into the global models and the mesoscale models. And I know there's some aircraft data and some drone stuff going on here, but we've got to do better than that. We have to figure that out. We have to have better data, better input to have better output to solve some of these problems that we have. And we just have to be better 